we continue to gaze into the depths of the cosmos, we are reminded that the universe is not just a collection of stars and galaxies, but a living history, written in the light that has traveled across time and space to reach us. The journey of understanding the cosmic microwave background, CMB, is not only a deep dive into the mysteries of the universe, but also a reflection of the incredible progress we've made in our quest to decode the cosmos. The CMB, in many ways, serves as a cosmic Rosetta Stone, translating the seemingly chaotic aftermath of the Big Bang into a coherent narrative that helps explain the evolution of the universe. However, the story it tells is far from complete. As we probe deeper, more questions emerge, each more tantalizing than the last. One of the most profound questions centers around the concept of cosmic inflation. As mentioned earlier, Inflation theory posits that the universe expanded exponentially in the tiniest fraction of a second after the Big Bang, smoothing out any irregularities and setting the stage for the universe we see today. The evidence for inflation is woven into the fabric of the CMB, but while the theory solves many of the universe's problems, it also raises new ones. What drove this incredible expansion? Was it caused by a specific field, particle, or energy type? And if inflation ended, why did it stop? The most popular explanation involves a scalar field, sometimes referred to as the inflaton, which powered inflation by storing enormous amounts of potential energy. As the universe expanded, this energy was released, allowing inflation to end and giving rise to the particles, radiation, and structures we observe today. However, despite its theoretical elegance, the inflaton field remains a hypothetical construct with no direct observational evidence. Some physicists have proposed that the detection of primordial gravitational waves, ripples in space-time produced during inflation, would provide direct evidence for the inflationary model. These waves would leave their imprint on the CMB in the form of specific polarization patterns, namely, B-mode polarization. The search for these elusive gravitational waves has been one of the central focuses of modern cosmology. The BICEP-2 experiment, which initially claimed to have detected such signals in 2014, brought immense excitement to the scientific community. However, subsequent analysis revealed that much of the signal detected was due to galactic dust rather than primordial gravitational waves. Despite this setback, the pursuit continues with more advanced instruments, such as those on board the upcoming Simons Observatory and CMBS-4 designed to tease out these faint imprints from the cosmic noise. Gravitational waves, if detected in the CMB, would revolutionize our understanding of the early universe and provide direct insight into the nature of inflation. They could offer clues about the fundamental forces that shape the cosmos in its infancy, possibly leading us toward a unified theory of physics that links quantum mechanics with general relativity. The mere possibility of such a breakthrough keeps scientists driven and hopeful that the answers may lie just beyond the next experiment. But while inflation theory offers a compelling explanation for many aspects of the universe, some researchers have proposed alternatives that challenge this narrative. One such alternative is the cyclical universe theory, which suggests that the universe undergoes endless cycles of expansion and contraction, with each big bang followed by a subsequent big crunch. In this model, the CMB would be the leftover radiation from the most recent cycle, and the next cycle would be set in motion by the collapse of the current universe. Proponents of this theory argue that it offers an elegant way to avoid the need for an initial singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature at the very beginning of time. The cyclical model also posits that inflation may not be necessary to explain the universe's large-scale structure. Instead, the universe's current expansion is seen as part of a repeating process, where each cycle resets the cosmic clock. While this theory remains speculative and lacks the observational support that inflation theory enjoys, it is a reminder that the CMB could hold the key to multiple interpretations of the universe's evolution, each as fascinating as the next. Another speculative avenue of research looks at the CMB in the context of the multiverse hypothesis. In this framework, our universe is just one of many, each with its own physical laws and constants. The CMB could contain subtle clues that our universe has interacted with others in the multiverse. Some cosmologists have suggested that anomalous features in the CMB, such as the hemispherical asymmetry or cold spots, 
could be evidence of such interactions, where universes collide or imprint upon one another. One of the most intriguing features of the CMB is the so-called cold spot, a region of the sky where the temperature of the CMB is unusually low. This anomaly has puzzled scientists for years, as it doesn't quite fit the predictions of the standard model of cosmology. Some have proposed that the cold spot could be a statistical fluke, while others have suggested more exotic explanations, such as the presence of a super void, an immense region of space with fewer galaxies than average. But perhaps the most daring hypothesis is that the cold spot is evidence of a collision with another universe in the multiverse. According to this idea, our universe may have brushed up against the neighboring universe early in its history, leaving behind this distinct mark in the CMB. The multiverse theory, while speculative, has captured the imagination of both physicists and the public alike. It opens up the possibility that the CMB is not just a record of our universe's history, but a window into a much larger and more complex cosmic landscape. If true, the multiverse would redefine our understanding of reality, suggesting that the universe we inhabit is just one of countless others, each with its own unique properties. Beyond these speculative theories, the CMB continues to offer practical insights into the makeup and behavior of the universe. One of the most important contributions of CMB research is its ability to constrain the cosmological parameters that describe the universe's composition, expansion rate, and overall geometry. For example, the precise measurements of the CMB by the Planck satellite have allowed scientists to determine that ordinary matter, the stuff that makes up stars, planets, and everything we see, accounts for just 5% of the universe. The rest is composed of dark matter, about 25%, and dark energy, about 70%. Dark matter, which does not interact with light or other electromagnetic radiation, is thought to form the scaffolding upon which galaxies and galaxy clusters are built. The slight density fluctuations seen in the CMB are believed to correspond to regions of higher dark matter concentration, which eventually led to the formation of cosmic structures. Although dark matter has yet to be directly detected, its gravitational effects are clearly visible in the large-scale structure of the universe and the motion of galaxies within clusters. The CMB provides further evidence for its existence, as the observed pattern of temperature fluctuations matches what would be expected in a universe dominated by dark matter. Dark energy, on the other hand, remains even more mysterious. First discovered through observations of distant supernovae in the late 1990s, dark energy appears to be responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe. While the CMB does not directly reveal the nature of dark energy, it plays a crucial role in refining our understanding of its effects. By studying how the universe's expansion has changed over time, scientists can use the CMB to place constraints on dark energy's properties and its influence on the overall evolution of the cosmos. In addition to dark matter and dark energy, the CMB provides insights into the so-called baryon acoustic oscillations, which are the regular, periodic fluctuations in the density of the visible baryonic matter, the normal, matter composed of protons and neutrons, of the universe. These oscillations were set in motion by sound waves that propagated through the hot plasma of the early universe. As the universe cooled and became transparent, these oscillations were frozen into the large-scale structure of the universe. By studying the pattern of these oscillations in the CMB, scientists can gain a better understanding of the distribution of matter in the universe and how it has evolved over time. The CMB is also a key tool in measuring the Hubble constant which describes the rate of expansion of the universe. However, recent measurements of the Hubble constant using the CMB have led to a growing tension with measurements made using more local methods, such as observing the distances to nearby galaxies. This discrepancy, known as the Hubble tension, has sparked intense debate within the cosmological community, as it suggests that there may be something missing from our current understanding of the universe. Some researchers have proposed that this tension could be resolved by modifying the standard model of cosmology, perhaps by introducing new forms of dark energy or interactions between dark matter and ordinary matter. Others argue that it could be the result of systematic errors in one or both sets of measurements. Regardless of the cause, 
The Hubble tension is a reminder that even with the wealth of information provided by the CMB, there is still much we don't understand about the universe's expansion and evolution. As we delve further into the study of the CMB, it becomes clear that this faint glow from the early universe is far more than just an afterglow of the Big Bang. It is a cosmic messenger, carrying with it the secrets of the universe's infancy, its composition, and its future. It challenges us to rethink our assumptions about the nature of reality, and invites us to explore new and exciting possibilities, from the existence of other universes to the true nature of dark matter and dark energy. The Cosmic Microwave Background CMB, has become an indispensable tool in our understanding of the universe, unlocking mysteries of both the distant past and the universe's future. The ongoing research into the CMB continually sharpens our picture of how the universe began, what it is made of, and how it will evolve. This relic from the Big Bang, frozen in time, gives us a view of the universe at its infancy, while at the same time, it provides clues to phenomena that are still elusive today, such as dark energy, dark matter, and the universe's ultimate fate. One of the most important revelations the CMB offers is a glimpse into the universe's flatness. From detailed CMB measurements, particularly those from the Planck satellite, we can infer the geometry of the universe. The evidence suggests that the universe is nearly flat, which is consistent with the predictions of inflation theory. In cosmology, the shape of the universe depends on its overall energy density. If the density is above a certain critical value, the universe is closed and curved like a sphere. If the density is below this critical value, the universe is open and shaped like a saddle. A flat universe, on the other hand, exists when the density is exactly at the critical value. The CMB's pattern strongly suggests that the universe is flat within a very narrow margin of error, confirming one of the fundamental predictions of inflationary cosmology. However, the idea of flatness raises even more profound questions. If the universe is indeed flat, how did it arrive at such a perfect configuration? Without the rapid expansion provided by inflation, a flat universe seems incredibly improbable. Without inflation, small deviations in density in the early universe would have caused it to either collapse in on itself or expand too quickly for galaxies, stars, and planets to form. Inflation explains this apparent fine-tuning by proposing that the rapid expansion smoothed out any irregularities and flattened the universe. But why inflation occurred in the first place, and what drove it, remains an open question. Additionally, one of the more